We celebrate 70 years this year. Our grandfather, Haji Ajmal Ali, was the founder of uh, Ajmal Perfumes. UAE is a melting pot where expats have lived here for generations and I'm here uh, at Ajmal Perfumes to meet Abdullah, his younger brother Asad and his cousin Mariam uh, who are part of a family business and uh, we are here to talk to them about how uh, they as third generation have been part of this family empire. The business empire has been so successful started by their grandfather back in the 50s and 60s and it is today such a successful business. We celebrate 70 years this year. Our grandfather, Haji Ajmal Ali, was the founder of uh, Ajmal Perfumes. We originally come from India. As Oud was in the backyard, that's how the trading of Oud started. It started with the trading of Oud and uh, oil of Oud, which is called Dhan Oud in Arabic. He then moved to Bombay to blend oils in a, in a tiny little apartment on where one side was the family would live and the other side was his little factory stroke, shop, etc. everything. After that, he started traveling to the Gulf. And at that time, I mean, uh, the, the, the GCC Arabs have always had trade with Indians. It was early 60, I believe it's 61, when Dada came to Dubai for the first time. I say Dubai, but he landed in Sharjah at the time because uh, that was the airport at the time. He had come for a GCC tour. During that uh, trip, he happened to meet a lot of his friends and customers at the time. And he met the leaders of the country during that period. And he was extremely enamored by the vision of the leadership at the time. And so when it came time for his sons to sort of branch out, uh, he sent his second son, my uncle, Mr. Fakhruddin Ajmal, to Dubai to set up business. Our first store in, uh, in the Gulf was set up in, in Dubai. We opened our first store in 1976 in Dubai. We opened our 100th store in 2006 in UAE, in Umal Gawain. Today, alhamdulillah, we have over 200, approximately 280 stores across the region. We export to about 45 countries around the world. And now we are sitting with the third generation. I'm the first of the third generation. And uh, Asad is my younger brother. Mariam is my little cousin sister. Her father, Nazir Ajmal Hama, was the nose of the company. He was my mentor. And today, uh, I'm very proud to say that Mariam has taken her father's place as the head of perfumery. It just seemed natural to me because my father was the head of perfume. Mm -hmm. And um, sometime near the end of high school, mm -hmm. I don't know how it happened. I think maybe I was taking a gap year from between university and high school and university. And he was just like, just come to work with me. And um, he actually started training me in perfume. And he recognized that I have a similar talent to him. And I had a good um, a nose. I had a nose. And he started training me. And then from there, it just seemed like the most natural thing for me to follow in his footsteps. Fifteen years ago, my dad he started a trend of overdosing perfumes with ingredients. Mm -hmm. And it worked for him. And the West is starting to pick up on that now. And they're moving on that trend where they overdose one raw material. So it's offensive in the way that it grabs your attention and it doesn't let go of you. So that was something that he started. So he was a person who could see ahead, who could see the future. Maybe it wasn't the right time for him. It worked for us, alhamdulillah. And we do hope that the BMW Du Bois is um, for people who are in the business, yeah. the only thing one can say is that as long as you can hold on to your, whatever your roots are or whatever you're really, really good at, you know, this is the time to consolidate your strengths and stick to that. Be true to your customer. That's the most important thing. Yeah.